Oh shit, it's me again, Josh, here from, uh, well, this channel, back with another video that nobody fucking asked for. And I'm going to be giving my opinion as to whether the Sony A7, that is the original Sony A7, is worth buying in 2021. Now I'm assuming you're here because you're already on the fence about buying said camera and are probably curious as to how it performs in today's technological climate. You also probably want to know whether or not it holds up to the cameras released within the past year or two and whether you'll be let down for the price you're probably about to spend on it. So let's get into this. Now, to get things out of the way, no, this camera does not compete with the cameras that were released within the last year. If it did, I'd be pretty concerned with the rate in which cameras and technology were improving and the performance to the price that you'd be paying for it. The Sony A7 was released seven to eight years ago back in 2013, when mirrorless cameras were just starting out. And at the time, this camera, the Sony A7, was probably best in class and you definitely paid a premium for it. And that's going to get me onto my first point. So, upon release, the Sony A7 with the kit lens would probably set you back around about £1,300, which, in comparison, taking into account inflation these days, is probably the equivalent of buying a Sony A7 III or a Sony A7C today. However, if you're looking to buy this camera today, you're probably going to find it for around about five to £600 on Amazon which is around the price that I paid for it about three months ago. Now I can't speak for everyone, but I wanted to buy this camera as my first proper camera. And I definitely didn't want to be spending anywhere of upwards to a thousand pounds on something that would possibly end up just sitting in a drawer collecting dust in six months time. I don't honestly think that for price to performance, you can honestly beat the original Sony A7. And I doubt you'll be finding a better full frame mirrorless camera at 500 pounds. Sony A7 has a 35mm sensor which won't crop your field of view like other entry level cameras will. Alongside this, a full frame sensor. Better low light performance due to funnily having a bigger sensor thus being able to let in more light, which in turn means lower ISO leading to less grain and noise in your images. Alongside that, higher dynamic range between the shadows and the highlights meaning there's a lot more information captured within both. This can give you way more flexibility when it comes to taking pictures in harsh environments like direct sunlight or pretty dark settings. And lastly, being a pro style camera gives you access to a lot more professional grade equipment like lenses and features. This camera has a 23.4 megapixel sensor, and with that full frame sensor, it can take amazing images and pretty good video too. I've been using this camera heavily since I've got it, and I've got to say I've been blown away by the photos that have been coming out of it. As most cameras do and should, this camera does shoot in RAW, which makes post-production pretty sweet. And to be honest, it allows me to really fine tune the images to how I want them to turn out. The camera also shoots 1080p, 60 frames per second video, and stores them as AV CHD files. For video, this camera isn't going to rock the boat by any means, but for the price you're paying, it's more than certainly going to get the job done. It's not going to blow you away like full HD or 4K video would, but honestly, don't expect that out of the gates. As you can imagine, this camera has full manual mode support, which means you can get fully creative of how your photos are going to look straight out of camera. So far, I've used this camera from anything from product photography, portrait, landscape, nighttime, and car photography. It is yet to let me down. Now lenses. One of the great things about this camera is you can often find it already being sold with its kit lens. This kit lens being the 28 to 70 millimeter the f 3.5 to 5.6 kit lens, which is a fantastic option if you're just getting started. It has a quick response and great autofocus, a low enough aperture to get some creamy bokeh and background blur, and works really well in a wide range of light conditions. Something else to bear in mind is that because this camera has been around for so long now, all of the E-mount lenses that have been released since this camera was released, including the ones that have been released for cameras past the A7, they will all work on this camera, which means you have a massive range of lenses to choose from, ranging all the way from budget options to super premium options. For instance, if you're going down the route of prime lenses, you can easily pick up maybe a 35mm, a 50mm, and an 85mm, ranging from 150 to £600. And for lenses, that's a really good value. If you want to go buy yourself a lens that will cost you a kidney, it will work on this camera too. And then maybe you can sell your other kidney to get a newer A7 model in the future. And guess what? The lenses that you buy for this camera 
will also work for that camera. Win. But if you want to be a cheapskate like me, maybe go running through the cupboards and garages of your grandparents and find their old film camera lenses. With the help of a couple of cheap as fuck adapters off of Amazon, you have yourself a vintage lens collection for your mirrorless camera. These old vintage lenses can also be bought second hand, I say second hand, probably third, fourth hand by now, off of Amazon and eBay for probably the same amount of money you'd spend on a coffee and a sandwich from somewhere like Pret. Bad news is, they're completely manual. So get used to adjusting focus and using these. A lot. So should you, yeah, you, consider buying the Sony a7 in 2021? Well, you're already watching this video, so I guess you're already kind of considering it. So yeah, buy it. Do it. I can vouch and say it was not a disappointment whatsoever. However, my exes can't say the same about me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Anyway, top-notch camera, exceptional quality, and great value for money. If this is your gateway into photography, like weed is a gateway drug to cocaine, then you're gonna love it. The camera that is not cocaine. I wanna be addicted to I say no to unplanned pregnancy. I say no to men. Both pretty addictive though, and will suck up all of your money, and you probably won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah, oh, quite similar. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. I regret to announce this is the end. I'm going now. Bid you all a very fond farewell. Bye.